This is Swift Block. We're gonna take it apart and check it out. Start the Swiftly exploration. Oh my goodness. I just like messed up the only thing. All right, now I'm not gonna be able to return this for sure. I'm so bad at this. Come on, man. Okay, all right. There is no, uh, no extras in here. So basically Swift Block is produced by GAN and it's one of those brands like Monster Go where they don't want you to know that it's GAN. So this packaging has no reference to GAN whatsoever. So here's the cube. This is $12.99 on thecubicle.com, making it the second cheapest full size GAN cube that they've produced. I think the Monster Go EDU is a dollar cheaper, but it's in that like budget cube range where you're going to compare it to the RS3 Super and the RS3 2020 and all those things. So we're gonna give it a spin and see how it goes. So the cube is very blocky. It's very solid. It's solidly built. Definitely not one of those light GAN cubes. Maybe it's right. Maybe this Discord looking logo is Swift Block and like, you know, these blocks are blocky and it's, it's quite swift, you know. This is kind of interesting. These are magnet capsules, which are uh, pretty fancy. This is cool. It's like flat on the underside. It's like completely flat, it's interesting. It's got a very stubby corner stock. Uh, I'm really curious, so I, I brought over a Monster Go EDU. Interesting. So the Monster Go EDU is a little better than I remembered. I remember receiving a sample of it earlier and I like absolutely hated it. But uh, yeah, it's very fast. This is like too fast. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so this Swift block seems more reasonably designed uh, for use out of the box. So this is closer to a normal speed cube for a person who doesn't like to customize their cubes. Speaking of customization though, let's open the center cap. You can see that uh, on the inside over here, it has this gear looking system that looks like a GAN 13 kind of, but you can adjust it by hand. So let's, uh, let's try it. So these centers, I don't think they have any business being this large. It is a lot of plastic and it's like destroying my nail, but yeah, whatever. All right. All right, three clicks. Oof, this is actually like kind of hard on your fingers. Okay. So I think this is the loosest setting. So it looks like it has how many settings? I can't even see. Five? Yeah, five settings. Cool. So let's do like one on each side. Cool. I think a cube this blocky probably shouldn't be compressed too much. Otherwise it'll be like ultra blocky. And uh, yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do some solves. <laughs> so what I'm noticing is there is some contact inside of the puzzle that's kind of sharp, that's interrupting the way I turn. Something about it feels too blocky. Nice. My, I got swift blocked. I'm gonna get a 10 and then sub 10 or die right here. Okay. Oh my God. You got swift blocked. I got, I got swift blocked. Okay, gonna be honest here. I think this is a lot more usable than the Monster Go EDU. The Monster e Go EDU had that like status as GAN's like cheapest cube you can get that's magnetic and like it works. This is insanely fast out of the box. I think out of the box performance is very important for budget cubes because people buying them aren't likely to want to set them up like crazy. 
This is a very reasonable beginner cube. Would I use this as a speed cube? Probably not. I think the RS3 Super and the RS3 2020 are both infinitely better, but you can't deny that this is like pretty marketable. It looks a lot more inviting. They put a lot more effort into making the brand visible and they have some encouraging messages like swiftly block the exploration. No, start the swiftly exploration, right? I think GAN is uh, maybe like in ch the Chinese market, it's not so much an issue, but in America, at least like from my understanding, there's a difference between saying you're a thing and being the thing. Like, so Monster Go, in my opinion, had an issue where it said it was for kids, but then like it made you wonder what about it specifically makes it good for kids besides the package having a like a monster that's like, oh, come, come get me, you know, like, I just don't know what kind of brand values they want to, to give off. I do have a, like a marketing deck. Swift Block is a newly established brand, entertaining and trendy play experiences, immersive, innovative ways of entertainment, fun excitement, explore aspect, intelligent, amusing, and trendy play time. I mean, I can't disagree with that. I just hope that they put in extra effort to make it trendy, make it fun, maybe put something in the box that gives a person like, maybe here's like a challenge you can do, or, you know, uh, I think there's a big difference between saying you're trendy and actually being trendy. So I hope you take the steps to do that. But uh, yeah, overall, not a bad cube. It's just not a speed cube that I would use in a serious sort of speed cubing context. But uh, otherwise, I can't see this breaking. It's very solid and uh, maybe it'll get more people into cubing. Now we know what Swift block is.